20 minutes. You only have 20 minutes. Come on, you. Jennifer is eating up a lot of valuable time right now butchering her fish. This feels embarrassing to say, like, as someone who comes from the East Coast, but I've literally never filleted a whole fish before. Hi there, Jennifer. <gasps> Hello, Chef Michael. <laughs> you got given the fish. Yes, I did. And you spent a fair bit of time removing the fillets. Yes, I did. I am making an Ebi Sudai carpaccio. I'm going to be deep frying the body as well and serving the carpaccio in the body. On the carcass. Yes, yes. That sounds a very interesting and uh, unique presentation. Do you think this could be a bit of a do-over after those fish cakes? Maybe. I'm excited for the opportunity to work with fish again. I love the positivity that you bring to every challenge. Thank you Good so luck, much, Chef. Good luck and use that time wisely. Yes, Chef. These matsutake mushrooms are an ingredient I've never worked with, but I mean, it's a mushroom. How hard can it be? I think Chrissy did me a big solid. Jenny, walk me through your dish. What are you making? It's going to be a mushroom egg drop soup, and then I'm going to have a warm grilled salad. This is like a miso soup? Yeah, and I have all these really beautiful ingredients to add on the end, as well as all these grilled vegetables, but not overpowering the special mushroom, I promise. It's not just a special mushroom. It's the hero of the dish. These are one of the most luxurious mushrooms on planet Earth. They can cost up to $1,000 oh a pound. I don't even feel like I should be touching them. But you're no stranger to mushrooms, are you? I'm not, no. Um, we work with portobellos, and we forage wild mushrooms all the time. Well, focus, dig deep, and don't doubt yourself. Thank you, Chef. Going back to my roots with all veggies feels really great, because I can finally just come out and do what I love. My fruit dream is a catering company where I grow and forage, and I just want to give people the freshest ingredients that I can. This abalone is very tough. It's like rubber. So I know I have to really break down its fibers, or else it's just going to stay rubbery. Chanel. Hi, Chef. So getting abalone yes. from Chrissy, do you think that was a gift, or was that something to maybe trip you up? I'll take it as a compliment that you wanted to give me a challenge. This is a very difficult ingredient to work with. You have to elevate it, make it shine. Yes. So tell me what the plan is. I really wanted to go Japanese, so I'm doing uh, sushi rice. I'm going to do uh, kale go mai, and then I'm going to do the panko crusted abalone. Hopefully, it'll be tender and tasty. Hopefully. So, Andre, what do you think Christy's strategy was in assigning you uni? Oh, it's definitely throw me off. Does that fire you up? It just shows that this is a game, and there's no friends here. I just got to focus on what I'm doing and make sure I don't go home today. Walk me through your dish. What are you making? Um, I'm going with a cauliflower steak paired with cauliflower rice and edamame and with a mango uni sauce. Well, I like where you're going right now. This dish sounds very unusual and different. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. 10 minutes! The worst part about the pressure cooker is I can't see if my meat's done. I open my pressure cooker up. I'm seeing this pork belly. It's not ready. She is in big trouble. It's really tricky to open the pressure cooker prematurely. You won't be able to get it back up to pressure quick enough. I really don't want to mess this up. I hate this pressure cooker right now. Jennifer, please bring your dish to the front. This is, hands down, the most nervous that I've been, because it's a whole carcass on a plate, and that's all. This is an Ebi Sudai carpaccio and I've made a sauce with some chili, lime, garlic, ginger, and cilantro, and I've served it in the fried body. Six seasons, I've never seen anything like this. That's a good thing. Oh, okay. Thank you, Chef. It's pretty amazing. The seasoning, it's just perfectly balanced. Wow. Last challenge. You struggled. This challenge, you're back in the game. You have incredible skill. Thank you so much, Chef. You know, you hit it on the spot. <sighs> the texture was perfect. The way that you preserve and reuse the carcass of this fish 
I am deeply touched. Because Asians don't like to waste anything. This is how we are so crazy rich. <laughs> Now, you know, in Asia, only the honor guests of the table gets to sink their teeth into this. The eyeballs. Today, I think the person to be honored is you. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you very much, Chef. You have certainly honored this beloved Asian ingredient. You did it justice, I'm touched. Thank you, chef. You can float back now. Yeah, oh my god. Dear diary, today I got to eat an eyeball on MasterChef Canada. Alyssa, please bring up your dish. I made a Asian-inspired pork belly, a celery rack puree, taro chip, and long beans. Great to see your plating be elevated to a whole new height. Thank you. Do you put exo sauce in the celery act? Just a little bit. I don't get the exo sauce there. The pork is just cooked, just barely. And the exo sauce, it needs more. I wanted to add some more at the end and I just ran out of time. Time management issues. Yes, chef. You know, I think you had the right idea going into this cook with the ingredients you've chosen. But the flavors that I was expecting of the puree and the pork, underwhelming. Chanel, please bring your dish up to the front. There's a Michelin star Asian chef up there, and I'm bringing up this luxury ingredient Asian dish. I'm really hoping it's up to his standard. So I did a crispy sushi rice, a kale gomai, and then I did a panko abalone. The presentation, it's very neat. So abalone, it's a luxurious and beloved dish in Asia, especially Hong Kong. The cook has to be perfect. The abalone, you got it. Good! Perfectly seasoned and very Tender, it's got that nice crunch. The sushi rice, that is almost perfect. <laughs> I actually think Chrissy wanted to throw you a curveball, <laughs> and you hit a home run. Thank you, Chef. I feel really good walking away from the tasting. I heard a home run from Chef Alvin, and that was pretty unbelievable to hear. Chrissy, please bring up your dish for tasting. My dishes so far have been more home style. So today, I'm really excited to show them. It's a work of art. So what I've done is wagyu beef two ways. So I've done a tataki and a tartare. Everything on the plate is just meant to show off that amazing beef. You got to choose your luxurious Asian ingredient. Yes, I did. Well, at first glance, stylish presentation. Clean, colorful, and eye-catching. What's the seasoning in the tartare? Some ponzu, some lime. It is fresh. It is flavorful. Yay. The beef still has that little firmness. The balance of all those ingredients work so well together. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, chef. Chrissy, you know, tataki is usually seared on all sides. It's good, but the tataki needed some more time marinating. Okay. And next time, I would prefer you do one thing really well okay. and nail it. Andre, please bring up your dish. I made a cauliflower steak with uni and mango sauce. I love innovation, and I never had cauliflower steak with sea urchin before, so that's innovative. The sauce for the mango, I love that sauce. Silky, good spicy, except I only see a teaspoon of it. You should have had it all over the plate. You use a huge slab of cauliflower. The rice, the coconut, it's a good idea, but where's the sea urchin there? It's not. But what was the start of the show? 
the sea urchin. Show, sea urchin. Yeah. The star show here is cauliflower. I'm super nervous. Okay, I made a great sauce, whatever, but I, I feel like I bombed that whole thing. I'm very worried it's my time to go home. Today, each of you was handed a wildly unfamiliar ingredient, and the winner only edged ahead by the slightest of margins. Jennifer, your dish was the best of the night. Well done. Thank you. Is this real life? My heart just grew like 10 sizes. I feel like I'm gonna burst at the seams. It's amazing.